I have the second generation of the Ohm. The first generation was very well loved and Edelred just gave it a nice little facelift. The Ohm is a really innovative device because it makes it so a lighter belayer can still climb with a heavier lead partner. It will actually add 55 pounds to the belayer and it's really just through resistance. You load the rope in and then the climber side, if they were to fall, they're falling onto the wedge design which is actually just a smaller groove in there that the rope is getting sucked into. So you have this added resistance with it. That's why it's called a braking resistor device. Edelrid got rid of the quick link and you can still replace the sling, but it now swivels as well. So when the climber is clipping it to the first bolt, they don't have to be quite as aware of which way the route is gonna be going. The push button center is also a pretty big update. And then it has a red indicator too, so you know if it's fully closed or not. On the old device, it was possible to get the quick link jammed up against the mechanism and then it could potentially open. There was no reported case of that happening, but just to keep the device even safer and easier to use, Edelred decided to go with the push button center. To open the device, push button and then clamshell it out. There is inscriptions on it for which side is the climber side and which side is the belayer side. And then you'll just load the rope. This would be the climber side. Close the device, make sure that red indicator is completely covered, and then clip it and go. So yeah, inside in your local climbing gym or any gym that really you're visiting it can be useful. Uh, you're gonna attach it to the first bolt. And then outside at the crag, you know, it's a great device out there as well. And so again, just attaching to the first bolt, the ohm will work with a rope range of 8.9 to 11 mil, so really, You've kind of covered a majority of the gambit with that. Uh, still great for gym ropes. And then the retail price on it is $149.95. So it really is only recommended for sport climbing. So you would not attach it onto a cam at all. It's not recommended by Edelred. Um, please don't do it. But for sport climbing, it's a great device. And I also, you wouldn't bring it up on a multi-pitch. It weighs almost a pound. So it is pretty heavy, but again, you're you're kind of offloading it right away. So you don't have to carry that weight for long. It helps a lot of people, especially, um, you know, again, partner teams where there is that massive weight difference. For me, that happens a lot. Uh, parents and kids, uh, as long as the kid is over 88 pounds, they can use the device as the belayer. And so it really just expands the partnership teams that you can have, and then also just the safety factor in there as well. I was belaying someone who was actually 225 pounds, so there was over a 100 pound weight difference with that. And typically, whenever I am belaying someone who's heavier, I'm gonna get pulled off the ground, potentially uh, flung into the first bowl, or my climber might deck, just because of that yo-yo effect. And the ohm will help prevent all of that, so you really don't get pulled up very much, if at all. You can still give a soft catch if you kind of time everything right, but it really just makes the whole climbing experience that much more comfortable for people. The Ohm's been around for a number of years now, and a lot of the kind of climbing staff and stuff like that do know about it. I don't know of any gym that the Ohm isn't allowed in, so you really should be fine using it. So the Ohm is definitely shines the more vertical the route is. If actually there's a roof uh, right after the first bolt, we wouldn't recommend using the ohm in that situation because you will, the lead climber will have a lot of resistance as they're pulling up the rope, but that's really the only time. Other than that, the ohm works really well in most situations.